Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and I'm about to take you through a fantastic full body workout. You don't need any equipment, all I'm going to use today is a mat and you just need a little bit of space. I have some water handy, so have some water in case you get thirsty during the workout. As always, listen to your body. The format of this workout is 30 seconds of cardio followed by a different exercise. I'll demonstrate each exercise as we go along, so just jump in. Push yourself for maximum repetitions, whatever that means for you. Um, challenge yourself. Don't be afraid to sweat. Don't be afraid to breathe heavy. And let's get started. You guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, we have 10 seconds of prep time. And we're going to start with our cardio. So you can start with marching in place, running in place, burpees if you're feeling feisty. Jump rope is always a good option. Okay, I'm going to start with marching. Belly pulls in, knees come high if you're marching. You can also run in place. High knees is the next level of intensity. So whatever works for you. If you're in an apartment, if you need to be quiet, this is a good option. Next, we're gonna have jumping jacks and I'll show you the low impact version. I think everyone knows jumping jacks. Probably did it in a high school gym class at some point. Okay, low impact is going to be out, out with a little mini squat. Regular. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Good job, guys. Keep moving. Doing great. We're getting there, 10 seconds. March or high knees, whatever you want to do. I'm going to start a workout on my watch. I forgot to do that. Okay, next we're going to have a lunge kick. I'll show you from the side. Keep doing your cardio. We're going to step back into a lunge. That leg, leg that steps back kicks forward. I have two cats with me now. Okay, all one side. Don't force your kick to be super high. We don't want to pull a hamstring. Listen to your body. Good job, guys. Core stays pulled in the whole time. Hips go straight down when you come into that lunge position. Good job, guys. Less than 10 seconds, you can push through to the end. Good job, cardio. I'm gonna do a little jogging in place this time. And we're gonna lunge kick on the other side next. Body should be feeling nice and warm now. Keep going, guys. You've got this. Okay, other side. Lunge, kick. Pull that belly in. Keep moving. Less 
less than 10 seconds. You can do this. For you. Okay, next we're gonna have a standing leg ad abduction with arm cactus. Keep doing your cardio, I'll show you the move. So leg is gonna be coming in and out like this. When you lift up, shoulder blades squeeze. When you bring it down, arms come together. So scapulas are gliding forward and, and then back and together. Balancing on one leg. So you know we're gonna do both sides. Here we go. So all together, squeeze the shoulder blades. Breathe. If the arms make it too crazy for you, you can just do the standing leg lift, that's fine too. Take some concentration. We're training ourselves physically and mentally. Good job. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Good job, guys. If your balance wobbles, totally normal. Good job. Cardio, and then we'll do the other side. You are doing great. Breathe through it. Okay, other side. So opposite leg. Lift, shoulders, shoulder blades, squeezing. Think of that scapular gliding motion. So they're gliding together, apart, together, apart. Breathe. Doing great, guys. Duck that leg. That just means bring it out and away from your body. Good job, cardio. We're gonna be down on the mat for the next exercise doing a rotating push-up. So keep doing your cardio, I'll show you the exercise move. It's going to be legs a little bit further apart, belly stays pulled in. You're gonna push up, rotate it up, reach up, center, Push up, other side. Okay, let's finish out our cardio. If you need to, you can take the push up from your knees. Here we go. So from the knees, it'll look like this. Body stays straight. Then you come up, lift, hit the side plank. Knees come down, push up, side plank. Whichever version works for you. Neck should be in neutral. Breathe through it. by the bell. Okay. Cardio. And again, you could be marching for this. Totally up to you. Next, we're going to have a double jab, alternating sides. So keep doing your cardio. It's just going to be forward, 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 forward. So as you bring it forward, bring it back to your body really fast. You can have your arms up higher if you want, like you're protecting your face but focus on fast movement forward and fast movement back. Here we go. Quick 
core strong throughout the motion. I like to breathe into the punches. Keep going guys. Feet gripping the floor. Keep going. Almost there, less than 10 seconds. Good job, cardio. Next, we're gonna have goddess elbow tap. Keep doing your cardio. Toes turn out at an angle. You're gonna come as low, thighs coming as parallel as possible. We're gonna tap an elbow, tap an elbow. You're gonna keep this low uh, squat the whole time. Belly stays pulled in, really working those obliques and the lower body. Nice multifunctional exercise. Okay, here we go. Get deep into it. Belly pulls in. Tap that thigh or tap those knees. Chest stays lifted, so you're not leaning forward like this. Tailbone stays tucked. Chest stays lifted. Good job, guys. Lower if you can. Feel that burn in the thighs. We're almost there, guys. Push through to the end. Cardio. Okay, we're going to be down on the mat for the next one. Tricep push-up. So we're going to lay on our side. Keep doing your cardio. I will demonstrate. Bottom arm hugs your ribs. Top arm plants in front of your chest. You're going to push through the palm, through the heel of the hand until you activate the back of the tricep. Tap it, lift. Tap, lift. We're going to do all one side. Finish up my... I made it for seven more seconds. <laughs> We'll do all one side, cardio, then the other side. <clears throat> Here we go. Bottom arm hugs, top arm pushes. If you need to rest in between, you can come down. If you can, just tap, tap. Make those arms work. Good job, guys. Breathe. Keep going. You've got this. Now this can be a challenging one. Good job, cardio. And then we will do the same thing on the other side. Pick up that pace and get out of the workout what you put in. So challenge yourself. Almost there, guys. Okay. Other side. Bottom arm hugs, top arm presses, lift it up. job guys keep going push through it you've got this good job okay cardio 
Okay, next we're gonna have an in and out squat. So we're gonna do a closed leg squat and a further away squat. Okay, two options for how to do this. You could do it plyometrically, that means with jumping, powerful jumping movement, or you can do it low impact. Keep doing your cardio. Low impact is squat, butt reaches back, side, side. Plyometric, jump, 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 jump. Okay, time to go. Choose your option. Good job, guys. Keep going. are burning. If it's too much, you can bring it to center, lifting just to give this size a break. Less than 10 seconds. You can make it. I know your thighs might be saying you can't, but you can. I'm going to march after that one. <laughs> Next, we're going to have lunges. And you're gonna either lunge jump or lunge step. I will show you both. Core stays in. Lunge, squeeze, lunge, squeeze. That's a low impact. Plyo version is lunge, jump and switch your feet in the air, landing with a bend, lower. Okay. I'm gonna do combination of both. Breathe into it. Guys, you've got this. <clears throat> okay. Cardio, whatever you want to do, march or run. Okay, next we're going to have either a squat pulse or a squat hop. Ah, I need some deep cleansing breaths. <laughs> okay, so squat pulse is going to be like this. Lower your squat, butt reaching back. And you're just going to pulse it out. Squat hop, same motion, little itty bitty hop. Okay, I'm shaking it out before I start. <laughs> Great guys. Heart reaches back. I think there's an invisible chair back there that you're trying to find. Good job. Don't quit. Around five seconds. Okay, cardio. Next, we're gonna have a warrior three, all one side. Keep doing your cardio. Core pulls in, back leg extends, arms reach, okay? Little bend in the standing leg. Most important thing is this part right here, flat back. Lift, back into it. Toes and knee point down toward the ground not out to the side. All one side. Here we go. Ooh. 
And remember, if you lose your balance, no big deal, just get back to it. Toes pointing toward the ground, knee pointing toward the ground. 10 seconds. Good job, guys. Shake it out if you need to. And then cardio. Then we will do the other side. Good job, guys. Keep moving. Okay, other side, core strong, back flat. Toes pointing toward the ground, knee pointing toward the ground. Good job, keep going. Check that back knee pointing toward the mat. Good job. Okay, we're gonna be down on the mat for the next one. This is a favorite of mine, angel abs. It's challenging, but it works everything. Keep doing your cardio. Modification is hands go on the mat to support you. Knees come up, they're gonna drop to the side, stretch to center, come up toward the other side, bringing it into your chest. Okay, harder version, add the hands. Point it forward, bring it up and under. Okay, time to start with that one. Belly stays pulled in toward the mat throughout the motion. Breathe through it. Arms are staying still, legs are coming underneath like a V shape. I'm gonna switch to the modification. Breathe. Good job, guys. Cardio. Okay, next we're gonna have side plank, leg lift. You can do your side plank on your forearm or an extended arm. Keep doing your cardio. Modification is gonna be with a kneeling leg lift. Okay, full variation, top leg lifts. If it gets crazy, you can always hold a static side plank. Best way to start building those oblique muscles is to be able to hold your side plank. So you can just do that the whole time if you want. Good job, guys. Keep going. Good job. I'm going to come into the kneeling. Breathe. Hips back so you're not rotating down. Core stays pulling in. Good job. Cardio, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. I hope you guys are sweating too. I don't want to be the only one. Good 
if it's easy, push that pace. Or get those knees higher. It amps it up. Okay, other side. Again, hips stacked, belly pulls in, almost there, here we go, okay, we're going to have bird dog next, so we're going to kneel on the mat, and we're going to alternate legs, okay, keep doing your cardio, so it's going to be core pulls in, Back leg lifts, just high enough to activate the glutes. Back should not arch, belly should not drop. Strong core. Opposite arm reaches, bring it in. Lift and hold it long enough to feel that glute activate. Up, I better stay down here. Here we go. Breathe, and it can help the balance a little bit to flex the foot, press your toes into the mat. Good job. Belly pulls in toward your back the whole time. Support that back. Breathe. Less than 10 seconds, you've got this. Good job. Cardio. Doing great. We're gonna have a reverse plank leg lift next. So keep doing your cardio. We're gonna reverse plank. If you can, fingertips point toward your toes. If that's too much on your shoulders, turn them out to the sides or toward the back. We're gonna leg lift, press those hips up. Leg lift, alternating sides. If it's crazy, you can just hold your reverse plank. Great way to build toward it. Hips high, check, they're gonna to wanna to come down. Don't let them. Less than 10 seconds. You can make it to the end. Good job, cardio. Whew. Next exercise is gonna be a clam lift. We'll do cardio with you guys for a few seconds and then demonstrate. Okay, modification is a regular clam. Okay, regular clam, you're just gonna open, squeeze the outside glute, bring it in. Open, bring it in. Harder version is gonna be extended arm, and you're going to lift up into it. Lift, top leg can lift, hips stay stacked. Breathe. Good job. Back 
Good job. Keep going. Hand stays below that shoulder. Good job. Doing fantastic, guys. You're asking your body to do all kinds of new things today. And that's a good thing. It takes you out of your comfort zone and makes you focus on the movement. Like I said earlier, we're training our brain and our body, our focus, our attention, our mental endurance, and our physical endurance. Same thing, other side. Choose your variation. Breathe. Rotate that top knee up and open, not just up, like you're bringing it toward the back wall. Good job, guys. We are using our muscles in each plane of motion to really make sure we're looking everything. Good job, guys. Next, we're gonna have a butterfly glute bridge. Okay, keep going with your cardio. We're gonna lay on the floor. Feet come together like we do in your old high school butterfly. And we're going to glute bridge. Belly pulls in, hips lift. Breathe. Pull that belly in. So hips are moving toward your ribs as you lift. You can even put your hands on your abs to make sure you're engaging those two as well as the glutes. Good job, guys. Breathe into it. Almost there. Good job. Next we are going to have kneeling hip lift. Keep doing your cardio, I will demonstrate. You're gonna kneel. Knee facing the edge of your mat, hand below your shoulder. Top leg lifts. We're going to tap and lift. Tap and lift. Good job. Let's do our cardio. All one side. Okay. Again, plant that hand below your shoulder. Tap that outside edge of your hip down. Press it up, hips high. Doing great, guys. This is a hard one. It's one of those tricky ones that looks easy and feels hard. We're getting there, guys. I know my muscles are like jelly on this one. Breathe, push into it. Almost there, good job. Cardio and then we'll do the other side. Keep going. Okay.
Find that kneeling position. Tap and lift. Breathe into it. Good job, guys. exercises so we're actually going to start slowing it down a little bit start marching we're starting to let our heart rate come down cooling our bodies down as we get ready to finish the workout good job guys Next, we are going to have a down dog heel press. We're going to do all one side. Modification is going to be kneeling heel press. Core strong, again, not arching the back. Full version is down dog heel press. Lat back is most important. So if that means you have to bend that standing leg, that's fine. Listen to your body. But we always want to protect the back. And if it gets crazy, you can hold your down dog and stretch it out here. Less than 10 seconds. Good job, cardio. March it out. Good job. We're going to do the same thing other side. Last two exercises. Here we go, three seconds. Other leg. Pulse that heel up. Doing great, guys. Five seconds. Good job, march it out. Bring that breathing back to normal. I like to take those nice deep breaths in through my nose, out through my mouth. Make sure I'm reoxygenating my body. Last one is flat back to chair. Keep marching. So we're going to do flat back. You can either reach or reach, just as long as this is flat. Bend the knees, chair pose. Flat back, stretching through the backs of the legs and the hamstrings. Chair pose. And again, lengthen your squats, pretending there's an imaginary chair and you're sitting in it. Weight is in the heels. I actually like to lift my toes when I transition into chair just to make sure I am sitting back into it fully.
good job, guys. Last march. And again, taking those deep breaths as we finish our workout, letting our body cool down. You can finish with some stretching after this. But you did a fantastic job today. Good job showing up. Good job making it to the end of the workout and challenging yourself. Let me know if you like the workout, if you have questions, if you need modifications, I'll be looking for your responses. Great job. And if you want more um, free home workouts, check out BenderFitness.com for the full workout breakdown, videos, pictures, everything you need. I will see you guys there. Have a great day.